Hello, and this video is going to be about how we update the electronics in a late model Cirrus. There seems to be a lot of confusion online about this. I'm going to show you my way. I take no responsibility for anybody messing up their electronics or anything else. This is just a fun video. Okay, so the first thing is I don't want to run down. I have an oversized Continental battery in here, um, but I don't want to run that down when I'm updating electronics. So I have a, basically a ground power unit. This one works freaking awesome. And let me see if I can get the manufacturer. There you go, white lightning. Product pitch, white lightning. And then what I do is I turn it on, and then I have it so that the display is available for viewing from the cockpit. And I turn that on when I'm getting ready. And then the other thing that I have is an SD card that has the update on it. Um, this is a PC uh, mo uh, formatted SD card. 3216 is fine, I think. And so that has chart view on it, which is what I'm going to update now. Okay, so I hopped in the plane, and I have my update database right here. And then as you can see, everything in the plane is off. And I even have the convenience light um, breaker off, parking brake on, and everything all set. Then what I can do is I can see the display on the GPU. It should be 28 volts. So step number one here, and I'll write these steps down in in the comments below for you, is I hit bat one. There's no need to do anything else. Um, this should be running off of the GPU. And how do you know that? Well, if this says 27.7, you're probably running off of the GPU because it should be about 24, 25 uh, without it. So that'll power the essential bus. And then the database comes up, and sure enough, we have chart view out of date. It's not in sequence with all of the other databases. I carry on this plane, safe taxi, as you can see, terrain, obstacle, navigation, um, airport directories, IFR, VFR charts, which I use Jeppesen on this plane as a commercial IFR pilot. All right, so we're going to hit this, and we know that that's an update that's needed. So bat one is off. Here we go. And then step number two is we're going to take the flight stream 510, put that there, and we're going to put the other card right there. Then we're going to take this card, put it in the upper slot with the updated database. Then we're going to go to bat one. And again, just double check that that's running 28. And you can see that that's identifying a change in the databases, and we want to make sure that Yes, 27.7. So we're not running off of the, the plane battery. We're running off of that. So we'll go to default profile and enter through all this stuff. Okay, and then we can, you'll get good at this. Go right down to aux databases. Enter. And it should be syncing by itself. Okay, this is a, a long sync, so I'm going to come back when it's done. Okay, that is updated and it's saying to restart. So the first thing we're gonna check is that, yes, what's loaded is 2418 and what's in the standby is 2419. And we have that double-sided arrow, which tells us when I restart the database, or restart the avionics rather, that that's what's gonna load. So we can go here to restart and then we can move over to restart and hit enter. And that'll restart everything notice that on the right side it didn't give us a complaint like it did on the first screen okay and it's not going to give us the main database page but what we can do is use our fms go right to to aux and then down to database right there and hit enter and we should confirm that it is indeed 2418 is the standby 24 right one nine is the active so the database took, lots of times, you know, you got to check, doesn't. All right, so bat one is off. Now we're going to go back to our card situation because we've confirmed, yes. And we're going to take our loaded card. There it is. Put it over here. Flight stream goes to the bottom. Don't make the mistake of putting it in the top, <laughs> at least. Okay, and then, and then that's the writable card. So that's all in, that's there. And when we take that back, to the office, uh, we're going to erase that. 
and ready for the next update sequence. Now we're gonna go bat one. Okay, now it's gonna confirm everything. And what we should get is, again, we're always confirming that we're 28, 27, seven, perfect. We're running off of our white lighting GPU. And lo and behold, chart view.